Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hulk Holic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 3 of my Ark Survival Evolved and Mr. Let's Play series. So first things first, I want to get some hide armor made off the bat. Because I think it's probably just a wise choice really. Get some, get our next level of armor. Just put that on. Oops, it's just typing. And we'll take that off, put that on, put that back on, there we go. And then we can just put our old armor in here in case we ever need it. Because you never know when you're going to need armor. Alright, so, first things first, I'm probably going to fly around this map a little bit. And um, we'll do some exploration and see what's around. I think I want to go that way first. Alright, so let's jump into the comments. Control Alt Lama said, Congratulations on not getting butt fucked by said T Rex. Shame about the level though. Imagine that first time and it's level 150. Damn, don't remind me, dude. I was able to go take a shit in that two second interval. He's. has. has cutting seen you. Ah, no worries. Oh, take this with a grain of salt. I know that map as well as you do, but you might find Chris, Crystal on top of that stripy cliff in front of your house. Getting there should be easy in a Pteranodon. Maybe name her Terra. Or Patera. Well, I would have thought Crystal would have been up here too. Holy shit, what the fuck is this? Oh no, that is fucking terrible. Well, I think we figured out where the Wyvern Nest is. Why do we always live so close to the Wyvern Nest? That's scary as shit, dude. Right, I'm gonna try... And just get a tiny bit of this shit. Just want to see exactly what it is. Is it just straight up crystal? Or is it just there for effect? Oh, just there to look good. Okay. Noted. Well. We found the Wyvern Pit of Doom. That looks like an awful place to go into. Man, okay. So this whole thing like extends wall lag. Holy shit. You're going to come on frames. Come back to me. Oh, there is crystal up here. Okay, sweet. Super dope. And metal. Now all we need is to get an Argy so I can, like, carry some of this metal back because this Pteranodon can't carry shit. Alright. Axe. That's not the way to go. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. It's just because of the stone portion of this. This is a shit house. We don't get all of it. We just need to get some. We do not need the stone, though. Um, maybe we should get some metal and take it back to base and try and get a refining forge going. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Can I carry what I've got? Because then I'll have enough stone to do this. Alright. Well, we're definitely going to get some exploration done today, but we might as well take advantage of this as it comes. Let's just fly back down here to our base of operation. It's over here, right? Wait, right, yeah. Right here. Sick. Okay. Now, we should have enough to make a refining forge if we unlock it. Refining... Because this shit just keeps resetting, right? I don't know. Hasn't reset my ingrams as of yet, so that's interesting. Alright. Refining forge. Boom. Yeah. Sweet. Alright. Uh, Select Gaming said, Sup, dude. It's great to see... This will continue, and great to see a YouTuber from across the lake. I believe earlier it said he was from New Zealand, which is pretty cool, man. Um, that looks okay. It's actually pretty decently placed. Uh, do I have wood in here? I do. I don't know why that didn't split. There we go. Awesome. Now, if I was to look up the binos, I need polymer and cementing paste. Okay, what about the super spyglass? I still need cementing paste, but that's not as bad as the as binos, though. All right, uh, taser is greater. Said, nice to see that there is an episode to that T-Rex at the start got owned. By the way, you deserve more viewers per video. Love your vids. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Daniel and Brother Squad, so keep up the good work. 
TCO Spades said, hey there, Elko, how's life? Life is pretty good. Very soon, like within the next 45 minutes, I actually got to take my son to his karate class. Which will be cool, because I haven't seen him yet. He's only been to the one, le the one lesson. So this will be his second lesson, the first time I've seen it. So it'll be pretty cool to see. Uh, Connor Christensen said, oh hell yeah, no series. I jumped out of my socks, lol. <laughs> yeah. Mobile Gamer Leaf Lex said, can't wait until episode 3. Well, you don't have to wait long, because I'm recording it right now. Uh, let's get a smithy learned. What does one need for said smithy? Just stone, wood, hide, metal. Alright, I should have enough metal now. Oh, fucking close, man. Alright. Let's get that smithy made then. Smithy. S plus smithy. Boom. It's gonna go over here. We're starting to run out of room. We're gonna have to expand reasonably early, unfortunately. Whoop. Alright, let's try not to do it too close to the door. Just to not block my entrance. Sweet. Alright, then we need to learn metal. Metal pick, metal hatchet, metal sickle, metal spike walls just in case maybe. Uh, okay, that's a start. Oh, and a pike. Pike. There we go. I right, probably just worry about having the, act, the like the normal pickaxe for now is probably the most important thing to have done. All right, now we can swap that out. That can fuck off. There's got to be probably metal closer to the ground, but I don't know where, unfortunately. All right, so I think we drink some water and then we continue on our journey with our pteranodon. Now that we've got the uh, pickaxe. Do I wanna do I wanna stick around and wait for the pike? Maybe I do. Maybe just to have that. No, because of, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right, but thank you for all the support, guys and girls, in the series. It really means a lot to me. This map seems pretty cool so far, and we've barely scratched the surface. Oh shit! Oops! Accidentally hit caps lock. Good on me. Noob. Right, there we go. Boom. Let's get a pike done. I'm not too worried about the, the primitive stone hatchet at the moment. Right, let's just put that on the fifth slot. It's good to have an extra melee weapon. Uh, yeah, we can buff your speed a bit. Unfortunately, with doing that, this has added more weight to us as well. These waterfalls look majestic. Is there anything behind them? I probably should check, shouldn't I? Nothing behind that one. It doesn't look like there's any cave or anything behind it, which is unfortunate. That would have been pretty cool. Alright, let's continue down the line. We just want to, like, see what else the map has. Like, go through different biomes and stuff and see what's around. Every time I get over to here, it starts to lag. It does level out, but it does have a big, massive lag spike. I'm just going to make the comments off my screen go away for a bit. I really should name this bird before I end up forgetting. Galley. It's the only thing I see at the moment. Jesus, did that scare me still. Ah, oh, fuck! Get... Fuck it... Fuck you, terror bird. Asshole. I knew there'd be something that would run up. Oh man, Alpha Carno. What up, my dude? Oh hey, they got the aberration crystals on here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, we know they're around now. I kind of figured that if it had aberration dinos, it would probably have aberration materials, but you never know with these things. You just never know. This biome looks fucking sick. And up there looks interesting too. We've got to definitely check that out. There's like floating spinning rocks and shit. What the hell, man? Look at this. Was this where the aberration dinos spawn or something? Some very cool colored dinos. 
The frame rate dies in here, though, because of all the trees. Man, this biome looks fucking cool. It's very, very red, though. Like, extremely red. It's pretty, but goddamn, man, so red. How big is this biome? Okay, it's of decent size and stature. What's up here? We've got to check out the floating islands. If we've got a bird, we've got to look at them, don't we? Alright, there's like a whole staircase thing. There's pyramids over there! Oh my god. What the hell is going on in this map, dude? Right, let's land and get some stam. We'll just walk it for a minute. Use our Tyranidon to walk it. Okay, so that comes up to here. So then what were you supposed to do when you got up here? Oh, you run up here. Then you come through this forest. Which are like swamp trees, it looks like. You fly up here. Or well, you would run up here. And then you run this way. And up these stairs. What the hell is this? What, what's at the end of this? Looks like a house thing of some description. The lag. Then you go through here. Oh, this is nice and quaint, is it not? Let's have a look around. Have this out just in case. There's no fucking booby traps or anything in here or something like that. Oh, wow, look at this. Going for a swim. Oops. Go for a swim. Alright, let's get out of here. Is there anything else in here? Or is it just like something cool to have? There's like blossom trees or whatever. This is really nice, this place up here. Like, I love... I love the fact that we... Oh, shit. I thought I was going to, like, fall off the edge of the world, man. I was going to be pretty pissed. Right, let's jump over here. I am worried that there's going to be, like, a glitch with the ground. I'm going to fall through and die. Oh, okay. How does one access this one? Is there no entrance? Ugh. Is there an entrance to this place? Alright, this is getting risky now. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's a way into this one. Oh. Oh, I shit a little. But you gotta know, we gotta check this, right? I hope this doesn't fuck up my game. Okay, this is like literally just solid stone walls with nothing in here. Man, I was hoping for something cool. Oh well. That's fine. It is pretty nice looking though. Unfortunately, it serves really no purpose, but it's nice to look at. That's something. Alright, let's continue on. We've got to remember which way our base is as well, when I think about it. It's over there. We've got to keep track of that. So there's a Redwoods on this map as well, it looks like. So these islands seem to lead to more islands as well. I don't know what the purpose of them is. I'm just going to speed this up so it doesn't take us so long to fly around. So you can take islands basically all the way over to the snow biome. That's cool. Better put it on this, otherwise we're going to probably freeze to death if we're not careful. Man, it, the verticality is pretty extreme though. Like, the way you sectioned off the biomes and that, you seem to have to really go up vertical areas. I really want to get that purple drop, but there's sabers hanging out. Holy shit! This snow biome is huge! What the fuck? The obelisk is knocked over. And all snowed in and shit. 
This is awesome. Alright, so that's clipped into a rock, which means I'd have to break said rock, which would take time and I'd probably die. I'm trying to do it. Oh my god. This is incredible. This is massive, though. This redwoods, like, comes from one side to the other. It doesn't seem like maybe he's got temperature in for the snow. I'm not freezing running through here, which is good. Oh, we got redwoods. With really cool mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, shit. I need land. Safest spot to land, probably. Oh, man. Uh, Arthropleura. Fuck Arthropleura, man. They suck. One of the worst things to have to deal with. Then we got, like, this whole desert biome out here, too. So it seems like all the obelisks are actually knocked over, which is a very cool idea, in my opinion. This map seems to have everything in terms of materials. Oh, there's thorny dragons and shit. Oh, mate. Is that going to be a red drop, or what is this? What is that? Is that just the the thing for the... Oh, okay, this is the obelisk thing, but the obelisk has been knocked over. Red obelisk terminal. Okay, so then you got your gamma tributes. Nice. Do you want to... We'll just do this for a minute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. We got some berries on us. Just land on this, just in case. All good, all good. Nice, got a nice little Jaboa. Alright, let's land. We can take our friend with us. What up, dude? We'll take you off attacking target. Nice! Look at our little friend. He can sit on our shoulder. So this pyramid's all the way out there. Why are they so far out? Oh no, there's like a desert temple and shit here. Or something kind of like that. Wow, this map is actually very impressive for being 25% done. Like all the areas that he has filled in are filled in very well. Oh, there's tents here and shit. Like a camp. Like an actual campsite. This is such a nice place. The little details are awesome. Unfortunately, the um, tents are empty, but very cool nonetheless. What do you get from these? It's just normal stuff. This is such a tranquil place. Look at that. Such a nice little place to be. Got to take a screenshot of that because it looks so lovely. Let's continue on. What's up here? More tents. So I'd imagine in the future, maybe the tents and stuff or areas like this will have materials you can get stuff from. But obviously at the moment he hasn't gotten that far in development yet. To add little subtleties like that. But this is really cool. Like he's, he's gone and... Well, that looks a bit janky, but you know, that's cool nonetheless. Maybe it was on purpose. The metal's like, you know, grown out of the walls and stuff like that. I mean, we've got the pyramids out there. Do we want to bother looking at them? Maybe we do. It's going to take a lot of stamina to get out there, though. This map is massive, dude. Look at it. Right, maybe we should land for a sec. Okay, we've got our stamina up. Oh, no! You blocked! No! That sucks, dude. I was really looking forward to seeing that. What the fuck? Is that the green obelisk? Yup. So the green obelisk is out in the water. Which is interesting. Well, there's like a wood bridge down here and stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm liking this map so far. I think it's got like a lot of potential. For sure. 
This is very, very cool. Brontos are ridiculous, though. Is it safe to land down here? Just to get this, or oh, something's been getting attacked here, which worries me, but it looks like they've killed whatever it was, because there's three stegos just there. Parachute. Couldn't care about that. I'll take the stone arrows, though. And then I'll drop that out, so it goes away. That Aurora Borealis in the background looks incredible as well. Actually, did we go past our house, or are we near it? Oh no, our house is back here somewhere, right? Is it further inwards? Oh no. This is going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, I think we flew right over it. So I'm fairly sure I'm very close to that island on the water. It's up here somewhere along this beach line. There it is. Okay, so then we're going to... Last thing I want to check out is just this island over here. What is this? What do you have to offer me, sir? Potion seller, I want your strongest potions. Oh, wow. This is like a garden exhibit. So nice. So nice and pretty all of a sudden. Fucking Gigantotaurus just comes out and fucking eats my ass. Wow, this is very pretty as well. That's cool, dude. That is so cool. Let's do this. Get a nice little image. Alright. Of course, we're gonna. Whoop. Fly back to base. And I think we're going to wrap up this episode. I think we got, like, we looked around the map quite a bit. I think we explored the majority of the map today. Like, obviously not every little detail, like, in the center bits here and stuff. But we have a general idea of some of the biomes that are around the map now. So we know what we can expect. And I think they look absolutely incredible. How are we going on this metal production? We're actually out of metal, so we're going to turn that off. Nice. No, this is this is good. This map is good. I think this was a wise it was a wise choice for us to to get this map um like to try this map out. I I took a chance on it being only 25% done and I think it was definitely worthwhile. So anyway guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Ark Survival Evolved in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.